the idea was to work with scholars who have graduated or who are graduating to support them to transition to the workforce for impact in Africa. And because these are mostly people who have just graduated alumni, we don't have data necessarily on them. Uh, so we were looking for sources of data from, from, from different places, um, including within the scholars program at McGill. Because of the different data sources, there was a need to actually create a database, but also think about how could, you, how could we better support the scholars to, do, to make that transition to the workforce for Impact in Africa. So I knew of the MMA program. And once I was in this position, my current position is Associate Director Africa Outreach uh, and Senior Outreach Advisor working on, on the McGill MasterCard Transitions project. I figured that, you know what, I can draw on the expertise of the students. I, I've worked with students. Students do an amazing job. Um, in the past, I've had students who do experiential learning placements, and they do such an amazing job. I knew that I could count on, on students to work on this project moving forward as well. So that's why I, I, I submitted a proposal to the MMA Gifts uh, program, and um, I'm very glad that we had, we had experience we did. I really recommend the MMA Gifts program. It's been amazing. I, I've worked with the program uh, 2020, 2021, and I'm actually submitting another proposal uh, to continue working with the MMA Gifts program. Strongly recommend it. I really wanted to do the community capstone, and especially when I saw the MasterCard Foundation project, because it's really sort of combining two things I'm very interested about, international development and also analytics. And so that's really what brought me to start having the opportunity to work with uh, Dr. Ni and his team. Um, and so we were able, as he said, to work on this database development. And at first it was more of like a dashboard um, development, but through all the different discussions that we had and seeing all the requirements and all the needs that the transition uh, project had, we all came to uh, the conclusion that actually a database change is actually crucial. So we came from like a flat database to sort of a relational uh, a database and uh, it was just, I mean, an amazing experience overall. I was able to use the knowledge I've had in the program, learn so much uh, uh, through Dr. Ni and Ajima and Idam, so part of his team, the transition team, uh, on like the MasterCard Foundation transition project and what they're doing and working on. So that was really an amazing uh, experience. The skill really that was needed was database um, design. So really understanding how to find a logical way to shape the data in order for them to be able to retrieve all the information that they needed to do it, like in a, in a, like a efficient way, if we could say that. So building on, on this uh, database, but also like working on like, what do you do with the data that you have? What do you want to do once you have all of this set up? And so that's where I was able to use like the knowledge of the masters to be able to conceptualize all of that. But it's true that like in a very fast paced environment, having to learn a new tool and like put together all the concepts I've learned during the masters, because yes, I've learned this, this and that, but like all together, for sure it was like a, a challenge. But as I'm repeating, like the communication that I had with them was really key because I was able to understand the source of the problem from the ground up because we could have those like uh, easy conversations and uh, understand all those little pain points and uh, things that could like ease their work and daily work uh, that helped also like uh, sort of fasten the, the, the process. So in terms of the skills, I think just the technical skills, without a doubt, uh, that, you, that you had, that you brought to, to, to us. Um, but also moving beyond that, training, teaching skills, because she had to teach us how to use the, 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 the database and also work with the, with the research assistant and also the program admin, you know, and figuring out how to actually set things up. And also document, you know, I think a great thing that was also done is, is documenting, you know, how to use, uh, how to use the, the database and it's serving us moving forward uh, as well. In terms of like, Whatever I'm doing like today as a consultant in the AI practice uh, at Deloitte, I am really learning to, first of all, understand the client's needs, but on top of this, um, understanding the importance of data governance, because that's really something that we saw through building up a database. Like you need to 
reference the data, document everything, choose uh, like a, even like on a legal aspect, what data can you gather, what data can't you gather. All of those things are extremely important and are skills that sometimes can be hard to find. And I was so happy that I was able to like develop those things to this project. Uh, and of course the database building because I've done it in the database class like we've seen how it works but like implementing it with data that I was not like knowledgeable about at first was uh, really also something that is extremely uh, needed in what I'm working on uh, right now so it was a very rich experience overall uh, and uh, really aligned with what I am uh, doing and uh, what I'm aspiring to be also.